Hey guys, my name is Tana and welcome to my channel. If you like what you see and hear, please help me to go down there and smash the subscribe button. Today we are reviewing the Lexus LS460 over here, owned by Proven. And uh, let's see why this madman ended up buying a Lexus 460. Let's have a look. So this is the Lexus LS 460. So the Lexus, how it works, what they have got the IS, they got the LS, GS, GS. GS and the LS. Yeah. And I guess the IS is the uh, the entry level, the GS, the mid level, mid level. And then after you move up to the LS. LS. So it's like a more like a three series, five series, and a seven series. So this will be your seven series of cars. So if you are having a, a seven series or a S class, this would be a competition. This car was designed. To beat Mercedes in their game and uh, think about this the year is now 2009 and it's the year whereby opulence is a big thing um, I believe we are out of the financial crisis correct yep. Yep. Uh, people are starting to recover and uh, you wanted a car that was um, I guess bigger than everything else you've seen before but this is a short wheelbase so if you get the typical the typical LS60 it'll be a longer version longer wheelbase and this is the short wheel version this has got a 4 liter sorry 4.6 liter v8 engine inside pumping about 385 horsepower and about 500 meter of torque now i know you guys will be saying like oh my god 4.6 liter engine and only produces uh 385 but think about this i think um if this was a 4.2 or a 4 liter engine even with a turbo back then this will be pretty good power and even now um having an na it's way different than having a turbo. The power is more progressive, it's controllable, you get to rev your car, you get to feel that uh, power building up and it's much more enjoyable sometimes in certain application compared to a turbo engine. So that's what I like about this particular vehicle. Um, so let's go inside and see why why would this car be, well, how much is this brand new? This would uh, be... Brand new, this is the base model. Yep. And uh, this came, this this particular version was, was actually opted out with the air struts. It has the rear air cooler uh, chiller and all that and this if i'm not mistaken this base model was about six hundred seventy thousand. yeah so this vehicle was actually a local uh local imported model by lexus malaysia so lexus malaysia imported this and sold this in malaysia for six hundred or thousand ringgit and um some rich men did buy it back then the car number plate back then was 18 one eight sure rich now it's uh 81 so rich sure i'm not sure what it means but but yeah it's not 8100 jtw if you see him on the road that's proven there please don't bully him so let's have a look inside now before we go inside i want to show you something else so let's start with the key first this is the key fob the key fob comes in this nice leather pouch uh yeah it's just a nice leather pouch the eight, the eight, the um, leather edges very well. It's it feels like your old best friend in here. Very nice, holds very well. I'll put it in my pocket now because I got a habit of losing keys. So do you mind? Yeah. Okay. So let's start with the basics. So let's lock the car. Okay. When you enter the car, as you can see, there are power folding mirrors. To open them up, this is keyless entry. So put your hand there, and you can see it opens up. So back in 209 itself. This car came with, um, um, I mean, this is what you call as a key touch opening. There's a button there to unlock and lock and unlock, but just put your hand there, it unlocks. Get inside, and before we even get inside the car, I was impressed with the door card here. There's so many buttons, and I think this is an example whereby Lexus said, you know what, let's go to the, Jap the uh, Germans and uh, do what they don't do. And the one button which caught my eye was this here. No, so this is a button which says a uh, picture of a person there with uh, a seat belt up and down. I was wondering what it's to do, and I press that, something magical happened. So, what was magical was this thing here. Okay, I hope you can see this. Okay, this is the um, seat tensioner, or this is the uh, to adjust the height of your seat belt, 
and as you press that button there okay this actually will go up and down and it doesn't stop there every single thing to think of is over here for the seat adjustment so up here we have uh, forward and back here we obviously have the uh, incline of the seat very nice but <laughs> this when you press up you actually have got your headdress up and down so definitely a seven class uh, seven series material s class competitor um and it doesn't stop these two over here this is obviously your lumbar support you know um i want you to see this on most cars you can't see the lumbar support up and down on this car yeah it's very obvious okay it gives you very significant support and over here you've got your thigh support so yeah and that is what makes a car worth 600,000 ringgit no it doesn't that's more inside you know so <laughs> on, let's go inside to start the car obviously close entry or oh, let's unlock the car unlock button is here start the car we press this button here and the car starts so if you saw that i will off again yeah the seat yeah the steering comes towards you Continuous when you start the car will now start there's a dvr there it's GPS aftermarket connected okay. on your smartphone connect to a wi-fi network whose name starts with thinkware thinkware yeah. <laughs> so how is it oh it's not bad yeah how's it he actually has uh lane departure lane keep assist oh. uh blind spot okay no, no then after that it has a as uh, camera detection okay so this is the uh meter cluster over here and um typical of you know uh any car you've got your uh, temperature control the temperature meter you've got your fuel gauge you've got your speedometer uh 280 kilometers per hour i'm not sure how fast this goes how fast I'm not. <laughs> it's not. But I, I, I heard, I heard from somewhere, it goes 240 easily without any issue. You know. Um, again, uh, look at the RPM meter. The RPM goes up to uh, it red lines at 7500, and uh, right now the car is stationary and it's idling at about 700, which is pretty good. Um, over here, as you can see, there's a small LCD display here. So back in 2009. They gave the small little LCD, uh, LCD display, and to navigate, I assume yes. I got to press. Yep, over here. Okay, so as you scroll down the buttons here, display, it tells you after refueling, time travel. You know, so there's some basic information there. Uh, LCD display, pretty neat, and obviously you got your phone um, and your. I think your this is your yeah, channel, yeah, channel or CD. Uh, volume should be below, which is here. Okay, plus and minus for your volume, and voice control, and the hole I believe is for the parking. Ah, uh, parking brakes. This is your parking. auto hold. Yeah, auto hold and, and parking brakes. Auto hold. If you're on a hill, you press this button over here. It can help you to hold the car so that you don't um, go down. And uh, there's so many buttons over here. This is what I noticed first. First, again, the car. There's so many buttons uh, across it. It does get a bit intimidating, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a lot of buttons here. Here, okay, and um, over here we've got your folding uh, mirrors. So you press a button and it will fold the mirror for you. Okay, this is your parking sensors. If you on that, it will let you know how is the car in terms of um, being close to any objects. This is your AFS. So AFS is active, uh, active light front system. Or something in that nature. It's basically your active lights. Yeah. So it helps you to um, kind of if you turn your steering left or right, that thing will actually turn left or I mean the lights will turn left or right to give you a higher level of illumination. Over here you got your fuel, you got your trunk, and your bonnet. That's about it. Okay. Pretty nice. So over here we've got um, a very a very cluttered this uh, system a system of uh, buttons here. But I guess. Back then, you want to show opulence, and uh, you want to show off what you could do in the car. And this is, I think, what is the theme of the car over here. There are a lot of buttons in the car. If you go around, yeah. anywhere you look around the car, 
there are a lot of buttons you've got to be worried of where people were in terms of what they wanted in a car so again here time control uh, it tells you your air conditioning system audio it goes to your uh, dvd changer yes dvd changer back in 2009 so um which i think is normal isn't it i know yeah. i don't i don't know I, i'm I, not sure I, when dvd was around <laughs> yeah dvd was definitely around during that time <laughs> okay uh, information it tells you your telephone your park assist in your screen settings you can set things like oh, this is uh, tells you automatic function from audio icon to navigation so just the color okay okay and gold it turns to gold or turns to blue you know i think gold fits better but blue looks new yeah okay um this is the information yeah. and one of the best things about lexus i think any lexus that you get into one of the best things about lexus is the fact that the air conditioning systems is fantastic uh, i even thought about getting a lexus just because of the seats if i could buy the seat itself i might consider getting one seat to put into <laughs> the bike car because they've got ventilated seats and this car from 209 had ventilated seats actually was cooling and heated so i'll show you down here what we have okay yeah, this is a very much like a audi button isn't it audi yep. vw got a button over here which uh, helps you to uh, change the uh, display setting yep. so similar here you press this knob here it comes out and you can turn this around to make it either heated seats or cold seats now i've driven up gun thing once in lexus and i put the seat to a uh, warm seat and it was fantastic <laughs> so i think if you're from a cold country i can imagine how nice it would be oh yes to have warm seats um been in a cold environment yeah. and more buttons i can't stop talking about how many buttons this car has so here uh, it says left and right and it's a picture of like a side mirror i uh, sorry side um curtain and if you see in the back there and I press the button yes look at that curtain and you may not you may not actually notice it again help me pull, press the button moving one second huh? yeah so I'll go in the back and I'll show you this okay press press again it's here and here even a small portion here the small little curtain which pulls this way and a curtain push this way isn't that amazing guys this is what you call luxury you know because your boss behind wants to be the secretary and uh, he wants complete uh, privacy fantastic so continuing on the tour of the buttons yes just the buttons alone fantastic um, you've got your rear ventilated seats so even the rear seats have got air conditioning in them and the rear Recline. headrest you can recline actually you can uh, you slide forward yeah slide so back. as you press the button here i'm not sure if you can see this okay there's actually a uh, it will recline the seats for you yeah. press the button there you know um these are the um the suspension system on the car uh, this car originally came with um air suspension yeah air suspension but proven was naughty and he changed it out to titan and the car handles way way better now it's not as floaty it's not as as pliant uh, as you want it to be but it's more comfortable because uh, for our roads which are much more harsh i think it works works well it's very nice you know yeah um over here we've got uh power uh what is ect this is uh this the electron is something to do with the uh, toyota's uh, electronic okay. uh, transmission control okay but and this is uh this is a eight speed automatic transmission mm and uh, it's a torque converter unit yep but uh during in 2009 it already came with the uh, eight speed okay and again here you press the button here to off your traction control. control yep it's off there okay so that's pretty much in terms of buttons um and um i guess if you think about lexus a lot of the, the issue a lot of the um concerns we have is how complicated the car is but the car is complicated but yet after what this is now 11 years yep. old every single thing in the car works and when he bought it the car uh, was perfect in terms of these things over here everything worked there's no there's no button missing there's no issue with um, um, mirrors or whatever the electronics in this car is perfect and that's what you get buying a Lexus perfect electronics everything works from day one itself your glove box here uh, if you press down here you got two layers there and uh, i believe it comes with a chiller isn't it no chiller is at the back oh, chiller in the back correct because this is a boss car right the boss car has chiller in the back to put your wine bottle not wine bottle yeah you can put uh, you can put two wine bottles there big bottle put... yeah wow yeah 
can put in. So chiller and a wine bottle in the back. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't sit in the back, right? Because you're driving the car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, up here, uh, normal. We've got your sunglass holders and um, your lights. You know, spotlight. You know, uh, for the door. If the, if you press the door button, it opens up. And you've got this uh, vanity mirror, pretty standard. Okay. But I think uh, in terms of up here, what I impressed was I pressed the back. Because if you go to the back. <coughs> Again, let's welcome to the uh, boss chair here. So we're now at the boss chair, and at the boss chair, what's interesting is, um, well, first of all, most the sitting position. It's very comfortable being here. Uh, you've got a uh, lot of buttons also in the back, as you can see down there. So let me flip the camera around and show you what we have here. Yeah, it's, it's actually a reclined position. Yeah. So. Let me just try this out now. There's a button here. Okay, you want to go to your my right. Okay. If I press, no, this is the one, isn't it? No, this is it. What? Okay. Over here. Yep. Yeah. So as I press this button here, I'm not sure if you can see this. The whole seat will actually tilt downwards. Okay. And there's another button there, which is this one here. And this gives me that added inclination of your seat itself and then yes your headdress so imagine <laughs> everything you get in a um, in a seat in a seat configuration system in order to make a seat as comfortable as possible for the front you'll get the back and even comes with memory seats look over here memory seats Fantastic. And I'm quite got illuminated vanity mirror. Yeah, I was getting that. So look at this. You press this button here, it comes out. This is pretty much a Rolls Royce level, you know. In Rolls Royce, you get this. I think, um, yeah, uh, seven series. Yeah, it does come with it. Yeah, and it has aircon. Your aircon vents are here mm. on the roof, and you have on your B pillars. You got a small hook there for you. Yeah, to put to your tetari. To or even you can hook your hook your your jacket. Jacket. Oh, I was thinking tetari lah. <laughs> yeah, then after that you have your yeah. And so down you, here you got your uh, climb control. Yeah. And this is a quad zone car, so it gives you four zones. You can adjust um, uh, independently. And as you can see here, uh, we have got the track, the volume. You can set things like you know um, uh, which this to play, this one, this two. Um, you can set the your fan speed the blower speed yeah fan speed and here in the back yeah that's wow. your air purifier running oh, air purifier in the back yeah air purifier my god um and obviously the uh temperature control you can turn the temperature down up yeah which is there okay and this is mine yeah yes, that's his and you open this up you've got ha you've got more buttons I was telling you right, a lot of buttons. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your ventilated seats. So now it's in the, uh, let me see, uh, this is now in the on position. This is to make it cool. Okay, so now I've got, my seats are chilling. Yeah, I can feel that coming through now. Very nice. Yep. Or I can put it hot. And if you're with your secretary, you want privacy, Obviously, you got your privacy uh, mirrors. So you press this, the back will close. Again, I mean, just open this for you again. And close. And also, uh, over here, press this. That will open and close. So, what do I think about this car in totality? Yeah, this is the chiller. Oh yeah, chiller. We can't forget a chiller. Whew. I think it can fit like a 500 ml bottle. Yeah. A can, I think. A can or 500 ml bottle can fit there. Not a wine bottle. Yep. Yeah. So, the LS 460, should you buy one? Um, I, do, I don't know, bro. I mean, I love the fact the back is nice. I love the fact being seated in one, being driven in one, fantastic. I love the fact the technology in here is so amazing. 
that uh, for the price you pay for, you're getting a true reliable seven series, a reliable S class, reliable seven series. Yeah. Um, but the only problem with this car is that you love driving the car more. <laughs> So when you drive the car, you kind of enjoy being in the back and enjoy all the facility. Yeah, I think for me it's more of uh, from my last my E fifty. <coughs> mm. I just I think for me it's more of getting going to the next step up, mm. next step up, and of course my bucket list was going to finally move up to V eight. Yep. And uh, to f- and for me, this particular combination was. Something I was looking for for the longest of time because I'm not a mm. big fan of sunroof and I wanted a dark interior car with a maroon exterior. So it's uh, and you know with used cars, it's always like you find yeah mm. you can never find the combination. Yeah. You and the paint is quite interesting though. I think yeah. I think we didn't show that properly. Yeah. If you get also and see the paint. That's the paint there. It's now about 7 p.m. and look at the paint. It doesn't show much here now, but during really intense sunlight, there's a sparkle in the light. Isn't yeah, it? you have you have a bit of a pearlescent flakes. Correct. And this is the original factory color from Lexus. Yeah. And this car has not been repainted. Yeah. Imagine eleven year old car, original paint, it looks fantastic. No blemish whatsoever. Perfect. Perfect. One qualm though is the back is. Should open, yeah. The back seat, no, sorry, the back boot isn't that big. So this is pretty much the depth of the of the uh, of the boot. You know, for some reason, for a car that that big, the boot is quite small. So that's one drawback because I guess they want to make the uh, back seat as big as possible. Of course, this has, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I said you got to think about what this car doesn't have, opposed to what this car has. That's how you got to think about this. You know. If I were to look at this car design today, I mean, if you look at the design now, I look at the lights here. Look at the lights. Look how it is. Look how clean the lines are. I think everything about this car is still modern, except for one thing: the lights. Because we've gone through a more crystal kind of uh, phase in uh, car design. The lights doesn't tell 2020, but other than that, everything else in the car it's very modern in design. That's where I will do it. You know. It's more of an uh, evergreen kind of design. It's nothing so outstanding. Mm. But for me, what I believe is the uh, the build quality of the car. Yeah, definitely. And uh, the reliability of the uh, powertrain. Yeah. It's yours. That's uh, that's that's I put something to protect the bumper from scraping. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just forget. Lexus won't put that in, isn't it? No, no, no. 